the U.S. is threatening to impose sanctions against Hong Kong. How do you see this? Um, will Hong Kong's international financial center status be affected? I would like to first point out that sanctions that is imposed or purported to be imposed with an intention to affect or influence the policy of another state may very well violate international law, what we call the principle of non-interference, because all states are equal, all states are entitled to make their own laws, other states should not interfere uh, with such acts. So if those sanctions were introduced with that view, um, I, would, uh, I would be um, uh, very upset to see that happening because we hope that all states would respect these international norms. But having said that, whatever that's being done, one must bear in mind for any state, sovereignty, unity, territorial integrity is something that is of prime importance to any state. And I think that is the same with China. And also, like other countries, China, uh, as the central authorities as here, uh, legislating for national security is no different from any other states. That's again a very common phenomena that we see in other countries. So to attempt to use sanctions to interfere would be something that um, I would respectfully say unacceptable. Um, but having said all that, of course, we hope very much that that's not going to be attempted to be imposed. Uh, so far as Hong Kong and the U.S. is concerned, there is a trade surplus of 30 billion U.S. dollar a year. And that is a trade surplus uh, that uh, we hope that no doubt the U.S. would like to preserve and Hong Kong is very happy to continue to trade, not just in goods but in services. So we hope that uh, we see the detriments of sanction that is going to hurt the sanction na and the sanction ni, if I call it that, and it's to nobody's benefit. It's a loose, loose situation. So I hope that uh, everybody keep their head cool and respect the other nations' uh, right to deal with their own uh, national security matters and allow China to carry on what China should do in preserving its uh, sovereignty.